The body of Shireen Abu Akleh is carried through the town of Jenin in the occupied West Bank. The veteran Al Jazeera reporter was shot dead while covering a raid by Israeli forces. Another journalist was also shot and injured. The Palestinian Health Ministry says they were hit by bullets fired by Israeli soldiers. We made ourselves clear to the army and the passers-by, indicating that we are the press. Then within seconds there was the first shot. I told them that we are being targeted, we are being shot at. I turned and found Shireen on the ground. The Israeli military says its forces came under attack in Jenin and that they fired back. There was no exchange of fire, so there is no possibility whatsoever that a Palestinian have shot the Shireen Abu Akleh. The Israeli army always uses these excuses to cover up the crimes they are committing against Palestinians, including Palestinian journalists. Israeli raids in the occupied West Bank have intensified in recent weeks after a series of attacks inside Israel. The Janine refugee camp has become a stronghold for resistance against the Israeli occupation. Shireen Abu Akleh had worked for Al Jazeera for 20 years. Colleagues described her as brave, kind and a voice of Palestinians. I'm sure there will be lots of calls from around the world. We get a lot of support from human rights organizations, um, governments, uh, who will be looking at, at what happened here and, and why a journalist um, has been shot dead. Uh, journalists, you know, killing journalists, shooting the messenger is equivalent to a war crime. Mm. So we need to know what has happened. The world needs to know what has happened. Qatar's foreign ministry put out a tweet saying the Israeli occupation killed Al Jazeera journalist Shireen Abu Akleh by shooting her in the face while wearing the press vest and a helmet. She was covering their attack in Jenin refugee camp. This state-sponsored Israeli terrorism must stop and unconditional support to Israel must end.